Hi there, Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back with another podcast review for your ears. Going to be talking about the brand new 2021 film, Spider-Man No Way Home. So I'm going to touch on spoilers in the review from the trailer. If you've seen the trailer, I won't go any farther than that. Because I honestly think you need to experience this movie as it hits you. If you've avoided spoilers so far, then by all means, go see this movie immediately. The short review is, this is my favorite Spider-Man movie ever made. One of the best movies, if not the best movie I saw in the last year. It's exactly what we needed coming out of the pandemic. It's exactly why we go to the movies. It's fun. It's exciting. It's heartfelt. It's down to earth. It's real. You care about the characters. It's amazing. It blows you away. It blows your mind. It's everything I wanted and didn't think. I, I've really enjoyed each of the Spider-Man movies. This is the best one yet. That's the short review. Go see it. It's made a billion dollars in a very short period of time, so I'm not the only one that feels that way. But that's all I can talk about without spoilers. So in the trailers, we know some of the Spider-Man villains come back from other movies. This is unprecedented stuff. Just like the Avengers films were unprecedented to put that many big actors and that much money on the screen and have it work. Same thing here. You've got Jamie Foxx, Willem Dafoe, Alfred Molina... Benedict Wong's coming in from the from the from the uh, Doctor Strange movies. There are rumors that some other people are in it. I'm not going to say if they are or not. You need to see this film without being spoiled. I'm a huge Doctor Strange fan. I think he did great. I was expecting him to be kind of a cameo. He's not. This is more integrated into the MCU than the other Spider-Man movies, although they were too, but this one really is. This really gets into Spider-Man. Tom Holland gets a chance to shine. He's been great in all the movies. He is extra great in this. John Watts directed this. He directed the last two. Um, they know what they're doing. Keep on going. It does lead into events that will lead into the next Doctor Strange movie that's coming out next year. It also finally ties together some other Sony properties. <laughs> it even, I there's something that I saw mentioned once or twice, but I didn't think would really happen. That happens in the movie, and I'm like, wow. Um, yeah, to say anything about it would be a spoiler, and I want to get into that. The movie was made for uh, $200 million. They spent more on this. I just did a review of the new Matrix movie, and they spent $190 million on that. They spent over $200 million on this. It's grossed over a billion dollars already. One of the biggest hits of the year. One of the biggest openings of the year. I said I was going to give you spoilers, but like I said, I don't want to get much beyond the, the what you saw in the trailers. I think I loved everybody. I think they get to play the villains even better. There's some villains they haven't really talked about that are in this. They don't get a whole lot of screen time, unfortunately. But the big guys, the ones that you see in the trailers, they get to kind of reinvent their characters to a certain extent or add to what we know from those previous movies, from the Andrew Garfield movies and the Tobey Maguire movies. That Sony and Marvel were able to pull this off, just like they were able to pull off. I mean, you know, I just, wow. This whole multiverse thing is good, and they didn't make it confusing. It all makes sense. How it ends up, where it goes, I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations, Marvel, again, for um, over doing my expectations i just knew this movie would be good for based on the trailers i'm a huge doctor strange fan going all the way back to the original comics you know i was looking forward to this i sat in the theater thrilled from the beginning to the end of it it's a two and a half hour film that flies by i didn't want it to end it is so much fun even there's you know there's some heartfelt stuff that happens i don't want to get into spoilers, but there's some things that happen that would not be one of my favorite parts of the movie, but 
It's what made it a great movie. It's the same reason why we went to see Raiders of the Lost Ark and Close Encounters and some of those classic films. It has everything in it you want in a movie. Action, romance, drama, cliffhanger stuff, you know, surprises. A lot of, so many surprises. They could have gone the Matrix route and gone meta within meta, and they don't. They keep it kind of down to earth and real and funny and humorous and heartfelt, though. All in all, this is, uh, wow, they really knocked it out of the park. The Spider-Man movies, um, the Spider-Man Home movie, since it was Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man No Way Home. be interesting what the next one is called. Zendaya does great. Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's a good Doctor Strange. I, you know, they're doing some things with Doctor Strange that kind of same thing with Tony Stark. They didn't completely do Tony Stark before they ran out of time to do more with him. That was stuff that happened in the comics, and kind of the same thing. They're rushing this Doctor Strange story. He's a good guy for a long time before you get into this alternate villain stuff that they're going to get into in his next movie, as we found out from the trailer and the. Not to give anything away, but I said I'd talk about trailers. The new Doctor Strange trailer is actually the second scene at the end of the Spider-Man credits. Not to give anything away, but now you can leave the theater after the first end scene. Because the second end scene basically is the trailer without the logo and everything, which they fixed and released as a trailer like a week and a half later. Spider-Man No Way Home, I could go on and on, but there there are people much more qualified to get into the geekness of it all. It was better than I could have imagined they did this story. Even knowing what you know from the trailer, there are surprises. And now I want to talk about something that... Movie trailers have always had things in it that weren't in the movie, but it's usually because something was cut out. You know, a trailer's cut early on in the life of a film... And then when the final cut happens to a big movie, and I can't think of one right off the top of my head, but there's some classic movies that there are things in the trailer that when the movie finally came out, they weren't in there for whatever reason. Well, now we have Marvel actually changing. Not only were there things happening differently in the movie than happened in the trailer, but they're changing scenes. One of the... Spoiler guys that I watched from Down Under was talking about the fact that that big scene where Spider-Man's swinging towards three of the supervillains, it looks like there were a couple of other characters cut out of that scene. Well, there were. (laughs) They were digitally removed. So what we saw in the trailer was not what we see in the movie. There's another thing in the beginning, the whole scene with um, how Doctor Strange and Wong talk about doing the spell. It's completely different in the movie. And that's not a major thing. But I, I'm happy for it. Just don't show me something in the trailer that's amazing that I don't get in the movie. Always make sure, Marvel. You're doing it right so far. If you're going to change something for the trailer and let me be surprised because you want me to be surprised in the movie, I'm all for it. But I don't want that surprise ever to be bad. Oh, man, that was really cool. Why did they take that out? I don't ever want to say that. Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, I don't want to oversell it, but it's... a. It's a great Spider-Man film. It's a great MCU film. And it's great if you just like going to the movies, eating popcorn, having fun. You could just enjoy it on that level alone. It's heartfelt. It's warm. It's friendly. There were kids in the theater that liked it for the action. There were adults in the theater who liked it for the acting, the characterizations, and the drama. It's a great film. Spider-Man No Way Home, they knocked it out of the park. I don't know where they're going to go from here, but if they don't go anywhere else... The Tom Holland trilogy is just wonderful. Absolutely loved it. Go see it immediately, then go see it again. I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm Rockfile. Thanks for taking time out of your day to check out a podcast from me. I've got more on the way, so please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for listening.